Hello there, YouTube. Superbrain AK here again. I've been uh, messing around with uh, some more little circuits. This one is a uh, circuit from Sparky Projects. This is his video. Uh, pulse width modulation coil winder mark three and other uses and he linked video well, I mean a video a schematic for a little LED chaser or other sort of oscillator that's pretty much based on his on the other torque type of dual oscillator or single oscillator and uh, so I made that here on my 1980s breadboard, well, learning lab, and uh, using all the transistors from it, resistors, wires, the LEDs, and this filter cap, and also this uh, potentiometer there. Um, the capacitors I used are 47 microfarads, as I didn't have five of the same in the learning lab, so I just used those. Um, See, so yeah, I got it all wired up. It's got five stages there. You can sort of see. And that's the five LEDs blinking there. So it's basically every other one and then it moves to the right. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, let's see. I did find, don't drop everything. I did find another uh, one of these guys. This is the dead one on it right now. I'm gonna replace it with this one. It's the same make and model. So this one's a dead short and this one's hopefully good. So I better be careful. I think I'm gonna need to re remove a few windings on the uh, on the base side of it. This was just too much voltage for it and it blew out. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, I had also uh, ordered a, a Sansa Clip Zip from Target. Currently it's running Rockbox, my favorite mp3 player uh, firmware. So amazing. So much stuff you can do with it. This is great. I've got my radio. Well, it was on, but I turned it down. <laughs> it's enough rambling. So, thanks for watching, guys, and have fun.